values have to be chosen intentionally because there are people around they will try to change your values who you are is a reflection of your values your values are developed consciously or unconsciously success is conscious and christian values have to be developed consciously this message will inspire you to develop the right values for a successful Christian life. You can order this message series through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Values at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakrabaden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra begins an insightful series titled The Promise. Let's join in as he introduces his subject. Today's Resurrection Sunday. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's thank him for the wonderful thing that he has done on the cross. Acts chapter 1 verse 1 is our scripture today. The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began, both to do and to teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandment to the apostles whom he had chosen. Verse 3, to whom also he showed himself alive, after his passion, by many infallible proofs. Verse 4. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. We said he, you have heard of me, John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Wow. Hence. Then he said, John came with baptism of water, but I'm coming with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, with fire. Hallelujah. May you be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Six. When they were therefore come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? In other words, they were thinking of a political kingdom that God will give them political power. Then Jesus said, it is not for you to know the times and the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. In other words, there are certain things that happen to us. The time is not regulated by us. It's regulated by God. Eight, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Look at the neighbor and say, my friend, it seems God has global plans for you. Today I want to speak on the subject, the promise. That's already the promise. The verse that we just read talks about the resurrection of Christ and some of the things that happen at the resurrection of Christ. And look who wrote this book, gives certain uh, comments and makes certain statements around the resurrection of Christ and the implications of the death of Jesus Christ. And I want us to notice one of few important points. Number one, Luke said that the best way to teach is to practice what you teach. It says, all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. Hallelujah. I think I want to begin by giving an instruction to all parents. And this is the instruction. That as parents, we are supposed to bring up our children in the ways of God. Primarily. Not only our children, but we are supposed to be living epistles. Teaching people. Now, teaching is not restricted to just what you say by holding a microphone, putting on a clerical collar, and speaking. Your own lifestyle and the way you live your life can be a more powerful sermon than what you say. You know, God is very practical. And in Deuteronomy chapter 6, in verse 6, he gave an instruction to Israel. 
He said, these commandments which I command thee this day shall be in your heart. Next verse he said, thou shalt teach them diligently unto your children. But what I find interesting is the mode of teaching. You shall talk of them when thou sittest in the house and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down and when thou risest up. He didn't tell the parents that, look, parents, open the Bible and say, let me teach the children these scriptures. He said, no, this teaching is practical. It's by what you do. In Matthew 5, 19, Jesus said, Whosoever shall break the least of these commandments and teach them, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, he shall be called the greatest. The greatest teaching is not what you say. Jesus said, it is what you do. And when you do it, you know what? It deepens your understanding. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that the greatest way to teach the word of God is to do it. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Blessed by your daily devotionals. Dear Kakra, I'm so grateful to God for using you to be a very great blessing to us through your devotionals. These messages have transformed my life in so many ways. Thank you and may God keep making his face to shine upon you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.